it has happened again on the Abuja Kaduna Road. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, I need to inform you right now that that has become the center of kidnappers, of travelers. If people are driving on that road between Abuja and Kaduna, or Kaduna and Abuja, depending on the direction the person is moving, well, if you're a Christian, you will be in constant prayer, asking God to help you. If you're a Muslim, you will be calling on Allah. For one single reason, because you don't know what the day will bring. Bandits or terrorists have made it their home base and an economic empire, an economic route. It's like a shop where they go and collect money and people buy nothing from them except tears, blood and crying. So before we tell you what has happened again on this Abuja Kaduna road, we please ask you to subscribe to our channel, click on the notification bell so that our next video uploads will come directly to you and you will watch it without having to search for anything. Now let's get into the action. Terrorists or bandits as you may call them have abducted 20 persons along Abuja Kaduna Road just yesterday being Tuesday. And civil society organizations also expressing anger over 1,500 Nigerians that have been killed along that road and other roads and another 1,321 that has been abducted. In quarter one, the first three months of this year alone, 1,500 killed, 1,300 seized and abducted. The worst thing about this kidnap is that those who were kidnapped in the train that was bombed out of the rail line are still with the bandits. They are still collecting the ransom and it's not enough and they come out again and they have taken another 20. Maybe it's a different gang because that place is filled, f full of different gangs. Again, they did it by blocking the dreaded Abuja Kaduna Highway. They always block the road, gather as many people as they can, move into the bush and the rest will run away. But this one, the authorities are yet to issue a statement. The report on Tuesday night indicated that the hoodlums, wielding dangerous weapons, descended on the Kaduna axis of the highway, where they shot sporadically and moved the passengers into the bush and before you knew it they are gone and today we are waiting for news maybe they will ask for a billion and the families will start running around again this is the reality on abuja kaduna road nobody is able to stop these bandits not the police not the army not the dss nobody it has been like this for many years and now it's just getting worse every day. The train is not safe to travel with because before this Abuja Kaduna Highway, people stopped driving on it. It's only those who may not be, uh, who could not afford the train ride between the two cities that we are using the road. Because the road is easy prey. They just come out, stop some cars, carry everybody and go. So people enter the train, ministers use the train, permanent secretaries use it, company executives like the bank manager or the Bank of Agriculture or, or something like that that was kidnapped, that was in the train. Senior, I mean, very people prefer the train because it was safe and many people will get in the train, it will just move smoothly. Little did they know that these bandits are not happy that the prime targets are now using the train and they could not lay their hands on them. And little did they know that these guys were planning how to derail a train and gather everybody inside it. And that they did. That they did close to two months ago. A live train carrying prime, uh, passengers was bombed out of its uh, rail line and then they made a feast picking the choice meat those in the business class in the trains. They carried them, including a bank manager. 
so they made the train unsafe. Even now, the train between Abuja and Kaduna have not started. They are just saying it will start on the 30th of this month of May. And what do the people do? No other means. They went back to the road. And now they have stopped and they have taken 20 people. What about the airplane from Abuja to Kaduna by plane is like uh, the plane will take off, it will land immediately, probably 10 minutes. Not many people can afford that. And I don't think there's a Abuja Kaduna train because it's so short a distance. Even if you take the, the plane to Abu, uh, from Abuja to Kaduna, the last time these bandits had a free ride into the Kaduna airport uh, wrong way. They came in there with so many bikes. The planes that were standing there were like, what is going on? The two managed to take off and they occupied the whole airport, killed one security man, had a party ride around the wrong way and they left. Where am I driving at? The plane is also not safe. The train is not safe. The road is not safe. How are Nigerians going to travel between Kaduna and Abuja? Such a long, a short distance, such a short place that people who work in Abuja, some now live in uh, Kaduna or along the road, along the towns between Abuja and Kaduna. What is are Nigerians going to do? The only thing left, I know what it is. And you have to do something in order to use it. Find a flying carpet. A flying carpet. Learn some mag magic. So you can use a flying carpet between Abuja and Kaduna. This is not a funny matter. Do you think Nigerian government is aware of their responsibility, which is security, the number one thing for any government? Do you think they are doing enough? Do you think the army is concentrating the resources where it's required? Do you think the police is up to their duty in carrying out their job? How come that normal bandits not trained can overcome all the security forces in Nigeria and make this highway unpassable, unsafe for Nigerians to travel? Just a highway. Don't we have helicopters? Don't they, don't know, they know what is called drones? Can they use modern technology and system to stop this? All these are questions that are going on in my head. I don't have the answers. So I'm inviting you to come to the com comment section. Really say what you think about this. Just a minute or two. You are done. Thank you for coming by anyway, listening to our videos and we really do appreciate you. Remember to click on the notification bell and subscribe to get our next videos sent to you.